This top four list will only include the best of the best. In other words, these are the top of the line models from each of the main competitors. This is going to be a short and to the point video, but I will have in-depth breakdowns of each vacuum and their features on my channel. Before we get started, I should mention that each of these vacuums contains some kind of smart navigation, so they're using cameras or lasers to map out your home and thus vacuum in an efficient and systematic way. This is different from pretty much all earlier robot vacuums, which basically pinballed around the house in a random pattern. This smart navigation system seems to be the future of robot vacuums, and all of these vacuums use it with varying degrees of success. Number four, the Dyson 360i. Despite being the most expensive robot on the list, the Dyson comes in last. It claims to have two times more suction than any other robot vacuum, and that seems to be its best quality, but it has been plagued with various software problems that affect navigation and other little bugs, which have caused the reviews to be the worst of any vacuum on the list. This is Dyson's first robot vacuum, and I'm sure that in the future, their models will get these issues worked out. Number three, the iRobot Roomba 980. The Roomba 980 is iRobot's flagship robot at the moment, and boasts the most suction power of any Roomba yet, as well as the longest battery life. The cleaning ability and camera navigation get high marks with reviewers, and most of the negative things are minor, like having a small dustpan that needs to be emptied often, the cameras having trouble with dark rooms and black carpet, and it being extremely loud, especially on carpet. And it's a safe bet, but a bit pricey, and not as many features as the next vacuum on the list. Number two, the Samsung PowerBot R9350. I really love the R9350 because it seems to have almost redesigned the way robot vacuums should clean. Its super wide front mounted brush roll and digital inverter powered technology make it seem to be one of the best performing vacuums on the list in terms of cleaning. It has a totally new gadget to clean edges and redesign wheels and clearance height to keep it from getting tangled up on cords or objects. One thing that really separates it from the competition, though, is its visual sensors that actually help it to avoid hitting obstacles. This is contrasted with most of the vacuums on this list, which need to bump into something to know it's there. On paper, this is the clear number one on the list, but unfortunately, it too had some software issues, especially with Apple or iOS devices. Number one, the Neato BotVac Connected. The Neato BotVac Connected is the cheapest vacuum on the list and is the best value in my opinion. Like the others, it systematically cleans your house with smart navigation, but instead of cameras, it uses lasers, which gives it a slight edge because camera navigation has trouble with dark rooms and the BotVac Connected doesn't. I won't claim it's better than the others in terms of cleaning or suction, or that it has as many cool features as the Samsung R9350, but it is certainly as good as you would want a robot vacuum to be, and the best value for a robot with smart navigation. In conclusion, the Neato Bot Vac Connected for value and comparable performance, the Samsung R9350 if you don't use an iPhone, the Roomba 980 for a solid but not spectacular unit, and wait for the next Dyson version.